Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about continual learning. So I know uh, everyone kind of identifies that keeping on learning is really important, that if you just stop with the level of learning you had after high school or after college and you don't keep growing yourself, you're going to have some problems in life. And so what I've sort of realized and been focusing on lately is how to keep that going. A lot of times, especially with small business owners, that learning happens continuously, but then they start their business. Now they're into these 15-hour days, and finding the time to keep learning becomes very, very difficult. So I had this struggle myself, and I found a solution that worked for me that initially I didn't think would work for me. And I started switching over from these nice books behind me into doing audiobooks. Um, what I found is that throughout the course of a very busy day where my energies were quite uh, used up and my focus was split, I was juggling lots of things in my head, it was almost impossible to sit down at the end of a long night <clears throat> and to spend that 20 or 30 minutes trying to read, learn more about an important topic to me. Um, and so I actually I dove into the world of audiobooks and I did not think I would like it. I was sort of old school in my thinking, you know, that real learning happens from reading and the process that happens between your ears and taking notes. But over time, I've actually adapted a system for audiobooks that works for me. And uh, if you're not trying audiobooks or if you are not getting much out of them, this might help you out a bit too. So initially what I did is I used um, a program like Audible, also a Hoopla. Uh, it was recently brought to my attention. You can get some free books through the library by using Hoopla, but... I started basically substituting anytime I would listen to music to about half that time listening to an audiobook instead. So when I'm driving in my car across town or maybe when I'm cleaning or cooking or doing the dishes and maybe before I would have uh, some music playing, I'd be putting an audiobook in instead. Now, the law of multitasking is important here. You can only focus on one thing at a time. You can do multiple things, but you can only focus on one. So that's why you know, vacuuming doesn't take a lot of focus. I can be listening quite closely to an audiobook, letting my body go through the motions of taking care of things like that. So if I'm cooking a new recipe I've never done before and I've got to slice and follow all these instructions, an audiobook is not a good choice. If that makes sense, hopefully, uh, you're going to focus on one thing at a time. So only when you actually can listen to what you're listening to. The next thing is it is incredibly important to me to take notes as I listen to an audiobook. And a lot of times, again, I'm driving to client meetings um, and I'm unable to uh, always have a pen and paper with me, although I typically try. So the next best thing I'll do is I'll pause the audiobook and I'll give a, hey Siri, make a note, and I will then input that note into my notes system. I'll do this for the actionable tasks, for meeting notes and concepts I don't really want to forget later, and then I go back through occasionally and pull them all out. So basically, I substituted a lot of music time to listening to audiobooks. Um, it's actually just as enjoyable um, a lot of times, and there's still times where I just need to have some music playing. That's totally fine. I started using Siri to make those notes. Occasionally, I pull those notes out, condense them into a giant binder, and lately I've been really focused on applying one book at a time, not just blasting through them. Sometimes blasting through a book helps you build out those concepts, but really the important thing typically is the application of doing the things that the book said to see if they worked for you, if they didn't, and that can typically be a three to six month process. So a final pro tip is that if you're blowing through a book a week like the Audible subscription allows you to do, I would really recommend you uh, downgrade to the silver package. Not many people know about the silver package in Audible. It's not one you can just choose initially. You have to set up an account and then go to cancel that account. As part of their client retention program, they say, hey, would you like to downgrade to silver instead? So basically you're paying your monthly payment only every other month and you only get a credit every other month as opposed to every single month. And I found for me, I just can't consume a new book a month and apply it and do any good with it. So this has been a much, much better fit for me. So anyways, I'm just curious, you know, how do you all consume your continual learning? Do you do audiobooks? Um, I do sometimes YouTube, you know, in the ear, a podcast in the ear as well. Um, thinking about it, you know, I always was sort of biased against reading being the, the premier way of learning. But looking back, you know, our ancestors, we actually were able to listen to stories to learn much, much before we ever could read to learn. And so there's a very primal ability to get information uh, passed on to us verbally. And I tend to find that I was surprised how well I could retain that information, whereas before I'd assumed I would have to read it. 
Um, my final recommendation is I don't typically listen to things at increased speed. Um, you can uh, typically go from the one times speed of the reader and chipmunk it up to 1.5 or two times the speed to really blast through it. But to me, I like that time in between. And I'll oftentimes pause a book to give myself some time to think and ponder a concept. So it's not a race to blindly go through stuff, but it is important. So let me know, how do you consume your audiobooks and what are some audiobooks you'd really recommend for uh, improving uh, business skills, personal skills? Let me know. Have a great one.